A heated and passionate crowd forms on Vine Street here in Hayes as people protest the new Value Them Both amendment. On August 2nd, Kansas will vote on the proposed amendment, which if wins could take away the right to abortion and claiming it as non-constitutional. It will also strain the funding for abortions which could affect institutions like Planned Parenthood, and it would allow state legislators to pass more laws regarding abortion. Kansas is the first state to vote on reproductive rights since the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, where the court returned regulating power back to the states. With such a polarizing topic, both sides of this debate are eager to get out their message to questioning voters. One of the protesters at this event tells me why she chooses to speak up against this amendment. Because I have family who've had to make hard decisions when it comes to their reproductive rights. And I know the heartache involved, the depression, it's just so hard already to make those kinds of decisions without somebody telling, sticking their nose in it, a complete stranger sticking their nose in this impossibly hard decision. Women are going to die from this ban on abortions and honestly it feels like the government is telling us that we are second class citizens, that we do not matter. When women, you know, we are the backbone, we keep, we keep people here, we are the reason that everybody is around so you think that we could be afforded a little more respect. The Value Them Both Coalition lists its goals as protecting every human right and stopping unlimited abortion access from coming to Kansas, as well as putting the health and safety of women and children first. There has, however, been confusion about the election and what this amendment means. Supporters of the amendment, including the Value Them Both social media pages, have repeatedly said that the vote is not about banning abortion. According to the Kansas Reflector, Senator Mark Steffen reiterated the intent of the amendment. He said, after the amendment is passed, we'll make further laws, further refinement, with my goal of life starting at conception. Though there are many vote yes signs here in Hayes, there are some who oppose the new amendment. Here at the Hayes Public Library, the Ellis County Democratic Chair, along with people in the community, have come together to start a conversation about the election and advocate for reproductive rights. I spoke to Aniston Weber, an organizer of the event. So the Value Them Both Amendment uh, gives Kansas legislators the power to instate a total abortion ban in Kansas. Um, as Kansas stands right now, we have 19 regulations and laws on the books for abortion. Um, some of Value Them Both's language uh, makes it seem like Kansas is like a lawless wasteland for abortion rights, and that's not the case. This amendment does not necessarily stop at abortion access, um, and that it will, we could end up very much like a state like Ohio, uh, Missouri, Texas, um, where total abortion bans are in place, and that includes life-saving medical procedures. We are seeing in states next to us um, where abortion bans have been put in place, putting the lives of pregnant people at risk, putting the lives of children at risk. It's people who are claiming to be pro-life, but then helping no one other than the unborn fetus. Kansas has an opportunity to stand our ground for reproductive rights, and I think that it's very important that people know that this amendment is intentionally confusing for people. It is the, the vote is in August to intentionally discourage people to vote and be involved. It's polarizing, like I said, because of faith issues, but your faith should not be able to dictate how other people exist and plan their families. There will be much more information regarding this election in the days to come, so stay tuned for more coverage. For Tire Media Network, this is Kerrigan Hutton.